everyone welcome back to my channel well today we are going to solve one more interesting problem from course which is called gcd and lcm i think you people know what is a gcd and what is an lcm gcd is nothing but greatest common divisor of a number and lcm is nothing but the least common multiple of a number and i don't think that i have to explain each and everything regarding gcd and lcm you people already know what is a gcd and what is an lcm if you want to make a separate video on explaining the logic behind gcd and lcm then let me know by comments okay let's begin by reading the problem here we have two integers a and b and we have to write a program to find gcd and lcm of a and b okay the inputs will be given and all we need to do is to take those inputs and we have to find the gcd and lcm right coming to the input the first line contains an integer t where t is nothing but the total number of test cases then follow t lines each line contains an integer a and b okay coming to the output display the gcd and lcm of a and b separated by space respectively the answer for each test case must be displayed in a new line coming to the constraints t ranges from 1 to 1000 and a comma b ranges from i think 1 to 10 power 6 and coming to the example in the first line we'll be having test case as input so here test case value is 3 means we have to take the values of a and b 3 times so in the first line we have 120 and 140 as input even in the output we have to give two values which are gcd and lcm and the gcd of 120 and 140 is 20 and the lcm of 120 and 140 is 840 in this way we are going to take three times the input and we are going to find the gcd and lcm of that particular given set of numbers okay actually here we are not going to implement the logic of gcd and lcm like in our math we have to do each and every step we have to take the number we have to find the gcd and for that we have to find the factors even we follow the same procedure while getting lcm so here we are not going to do each and every step instead we are going to uh, implement like there is a package called math and from that we are going to implement and this math package will be having gcd module okay this math package is having gcd module and we are going to use that gcd and we are going to find the lcm okay gcd is very easy to find in python all we need to do is to import that particular math package and we have to implement that gcd module from that and the thing is unfortunately this math package doesn't have lcm so we have to do that manually as we know the exact relation between lcm and gcd lcm and gcd are nothing but the product of two numbers like for example here we have two numbers 120 and 140 the product of these two numbers is equal to the product of lcm and gcd this is the actual relation that we have between lcm and gcd and by taking this equation we can find the lcm value by using the gcd value and how are we going to get that particular gcd value by the math package and this math package is having a gcd module so we are going to use that particular module and we are going to implement that to get lcm value and we are going to print both gcd and lcm after applying these things So in this way we are going to find the values of LCM and GCD of the given numbers and now it's time to write the code so let's begin coding Coming to the coding part in the first line we have to take test case as input so for each and every test case line we have to take those two values as input so I am going to write that in a single line so for underscore in range of int of input A comma B equal to the map of int comma input dot split. And now, in order to apply GCD, we have to use that package, right? So for that, I am going to take a import. I am going to import math. Import math. and now let's create a variable called g because we have we already have gcd so we cannot use that so g equal to math dot gcd of a comma b now if we print g we will get the gcd let's check whether we are getting gcd or not by giving custom input Oh my god there is some error like I'm sorry <clears throat> I didn't use the method okay now if we run this yeah it will work this time and this time if you observe we got the gcd values 
and now it's time to get the LCM. How are we going to do that? So we know that the product of two numbers is equal to LCM into GCD, right? So LCM into G. Here G is nothing but GCD, right? Equal to A into B, right? But in order to get LCM, we need to move this GCD to right side, right? So if we move this particular variable to right side, what what it becomes it will not multiply this time it will instead divide so we will remove this g here and we'll divide it with a into b and now lcm value and now we will get lcm value g and now print First value is GCD. Don't forget the order. In the question, the order is first we have to print GCD and later we have to print LCM. Now, if we run that. Oh my God, I'm sorry. It's G. Yeah, it's working and the output is also same. And now if we submit this. Yeah, it's working. So if you like the video, hit that cute little like button because that motivates me to make more interesting technical stuff for you. And if you are new to my channel, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you'll never miss an update from me. And if you want me to explain in detail about GCD and LCM, then let me know by comments. I will definitely make a separate video on it. Thank you.